All right, so the gamblers don't appear to have put much money into this football field, track field. But they certainly put out the money for this thing. This little kid's obstacle course. I've never seen one like this. And the biggest, the biggest rope I've ever seen. Oh, cool, those are hanging. Oh man, the biggest twine rope I've ever seen. That's pretty cool. The way they got this set up. Not cheap. And very, it looks very new. A little rock climbing simulation, I guess. That swings. <laughs> All right, and then this thing I was trying to figure out, I stood on it and then learned. This thing spins. That's kind of cool. I like the ones that you can hang on though better. Historic boiler room, boiler room tavern. It's very high up. Wow. It doesn't look like it's in use for anything. The Hotel St. Nicholas, it's very high up. All right, so we got Our Lady of the Assumption Shrine. Looks pretty neat. Next to this hotel, looks like two people are parked here. Maybe it's really being used. I don't see how I can get any higher up. This is pretty high up. The Hotel St. Nichols, the guy who made that was, uh, who decided on that location, <laughs> wanted to overlook everything. Also where the church is set up here, it's pretty neat. So I just saw like a bit mama fox or daddy fox and two half the size foxes. That's another like fox. There's they're like they're all over the city. Just just uh surviving. Oh wow, okay. I smell some smoke. <laughs> it's gonna get down to 29. There it is, that's where the smoke's coming from. Oh god. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Okay. Oh man. It's coming straight at me. It smells kind of good, but it's a little strong. So I guess the backyards of all these mining town homes. Oh man. It's going to be 29 tonight, so I have heat packs. I don't know which was built first, I guess the stairs. They must have had stairs here and then they put this this wall over them. This could be the first mining town I get kicked out of parking overnight. Casinos certainly came and went throughout this city. Christmas Casino and Inn looks like it's out of business. It's an inn. Maybe there's a casino in there. Eight feet clearance. I wonder if the casino extends extends into this building. All right, that it does. Can I let myself in? I wonder if the popcorn is free. I could use some. Hmm. 
<laughs> There's a casino in every single building. Womax Event Center. The man who spent like a decade trying to convince investors to invest in mining operations here and then he just ended up selling his property not really getting much he's he said to die broke and penniless living in his sister's like a hotel or something but at least he got this building named after him Once again, Cripple Creek. I just like this view a lot. Had a big church off in the background. Oh yeah, an old cabin. I'm looking for the library, but also enjoying the views. The mine is just huge off in that distance. All right, so last night, my stomach felt a little sick. I think it's because the gallbladder is acting up again. Put a magnet over it, got some relief. Magnet over the, the gallbladder area. It's, it's in bad shape. This place is surrounded by raccoon and fox. There's one, there's a fox over here. That's a different one. I smell a skunk. Or well, that could be me. And then this uh, raccoon went down. He, mu he might have heard me or seen me. And went down into the sewer here. Whoa. <laughs> Not far from this library. Alright, so I'm putting this trim on. I marked it with the needles. But they still don't hold it in place in between where I put them. So it's been such a struggle to get this on perfectly, <laughs> but it looks just slightly better than what I had. I probably should have gotten a thicker, a, long, a wider trim actually, but uh, this will work. Just step outside and it's snowing. Step outside the library. It's actually snowing. All right, a little later in the day, May 28th, and it's now visible that it's snowing. I really need to roll up my windows so I don't get snow. I did not expect it to snow like this. It's actually, it feels like it's like, well, it's smelting on the ground. It feels like it's above freezing. I guess because it's snowing, it's not even able to get inside anyway, because of the screen. Let me just say again, it's May 28th and it's snowing. It's snowing, it's incredible. I love it. I was just sweating two days ago in Cannon. You can see the white backdrop uh, in front of the mountain. That's the snow, because it's just the cloud that passed over here. More might be on its way, I'm not sure. <laughs> this would explain how there's horse poop all over the place. There appear to be wild, wild jackasses that are not fenced in or anything. I want to get a close look at this. They're not fenced in. And there's like 10 of them. Maybe I can climb above here. This is just school property. Yeah, look at this. These wild jackasses, they're not tied to anything. 
they're just roaming around <laughs> here I thought somebody was riding them around <laughs> and the dogs are mad at me <laughs> they bark at me and not the jackasses That's funny. And I'm just parked over here. These dogs are irate. <laughs> the jackass pays them no attention. Right, so all the donkeys come over here now. That explained why I saw footprints. I recorded them a little bit on my Sony. They're behind me. I'm surrounded. They're acting funny. They're acting really weird. Are, are they being herded? So all these donkeys are probably descendants of the miners' donkeys. Jackasses, burros, whatever you call them. And they just wander around the city. There was actually a sign, I did not record it in a park, that was like dedicated to Daisy, a dead, a dead donkey. But that's just one donkey out of a ton of these. Alright, I was kind of hoping the donkeys would come over this way to, <laughs> to the school. They walked by the school. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing to eat in this uh, parking lot, so they just got to keep moving along. How many are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I don't know, almost 15 of them. And they are in rough shape too. They're somewhat friendly, but uh, they're in rough shape. Now they've stopped right at the entrance for some reason. Form a line. I think this might be kind of their regular route. <laughs> the old mining donkeys. <clears throat> yeah, the donkeys and this, this fox spend more time on the playground. They just play and play and play. Looks like he's coming this way. Just approaching me. Hey buddy! <laughs> you got a little too close. <laughs> These donkeys really love playing on this sports field. They're running up and down the field. Yeah, I got here kind of late. These belts, these are a part of the mining, so they don't want you getting too close. This is part of the museum area, visitor centers over that way. Looks like it'd be pretty neat to check out during the day. I'm gonna take a wild guess that they don't lock these bathrooms. It's not very active around here. I'll record the signs tomorrow. They're interesting. Just wanna walk up on this. This is for the mines and it's stuck here now. You build it and you can't really move it. All right, there's strong evidence that donkeys wander around this city too. This grocery store does not have much. It's 
like 7.30 in the morning and I still have frost on my car. It feels like a, such a warm frost though. So three times it seemed like there was humans or animals that visited my car. One time there's like lights that shined into my car and like somebody walked by and I heard a car door slam. Like they parked behind me. I couldn't tell if it was a cop or what. Then another time I heard like scraping noise under my car like maybe an animal's back was scraping against the bottom of my car. <clears throat> Gold pans. A lot of these places are just selling antique stuff. Eighteen ninety nine. All right, so it's somewhere on this block. The Gold Bowl. <clears throat> a little more relaxed than the other side. So this is an open door, but you can't, they don't want you going in. You'd have to open up that gate. <clears throat> they don't cover up all the, the windows here. So, what a mess. It's a neat ceiling. It's a mess on this side too, with all these garbage bags. I think, yeah, they got various, all kinds of stuff in there. These string lights were on last night. They didn't even bother to lock these bathrooms, which I expected. The Pinnacle Park Plaza. All right, so behind the bathrooms at the Pinnacle Park Plaza. What do we got? Pretty neat. Looks in okay shape. Oh my god, they block off going to the top. What's the deal? This is pretty neat, a door on the top. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe they just poured these stairs. Maybe they're, do not enter this area. Until further notice. Are they paving it? It looks like they intend to pave it or something. And since there's workers nearby, there's a door up there. Oh, every window is boarded up. Wow. They're still getting electricity, as evidenced by the meter. There's a door up there. There must have been a lot more going on. <clears throat> So I guess this Victor Hotel is supposed to be pretty popular. That bar was open pretty pretty late at night. For some reason there's a problem with falling ice and snow. 
I don't want to look in the window. I think somebody's working. Actually, it doesn't look like anybody's working. I don't... I can't see anybody. Huh. <clears throat> Lots of weird antiques here. Wow. <laughs> they got a lot of long, long buildings, long rooms. <clears throat> it's a lot of cars. I don't know what they're doing. Wow, so this is all gutted out. This would be cool to take a drone over. It looks like the door's unlocked. There might be people working in there. <clears throat> Alright, this is Invictor. I've been recording a lot. Here's snow. They actually have snow. And it's like May, May 28th. These are all miners' trucks with those flags, those tall flags. So somebody's selling their van with a, a camper tent on top. I would never use that camper tent.